Whether we think of our own memory as good or bad, wish we could erase a memory, or have a family member with dementia or Alzheimer's disease, we are all intimately familiar with memory. But we don't often consider just how important memory is for functioning in the world. Memories, even those we don't consciously remember, change our behavior in the future. I am Dr. Natalie Tronson, an associate professor in the psychology department at the University of Michigan, and I study memory not by talking with people about their memories, but by studying how the brain stores memory. We know that memory is stored in the brain when cells, called neurons, form new and stronger connections, creating new networks of cells that will later act together to retrieve the memory of this experience. In my laboratory, we ask questions including, how does the body's own immune response to illness cause changes in the brain and how it stores memory? Are these processes the same in males and females? And how do changes in memory contribute to disorders including post-traumatic stress disorder, Alzheimer's disease, and even depression? To answer these questions, we study mice because for all our differences, our brains function in largely the same way. We share brain regions and circuits with mice and rats, even with crocodiles, and the way brain cells work to store memory and how memory changes behavior is shared even with species including sea slugs called aplysia and insects like fruit flies. In particular, we study the cascade of molecules that turn on and off genes to promote the formation of new connections between neurons that form new or update old memories. By using mouse models to understand the nitty-gritty details of how the brain forms memory at the level of cells, genes, and other molecules in the cells, our goal is to contribute to the effective prevention and treatment of memory-related disorders. For more details on our current research and the people who do the work, please visit our website, 